Yesterday, during a presentation, a young person said about this legislative body, I feel like they want me dead. When older queer people represent themselves, it's because we want young people not to go through what we had to go through, not because we are trying to indoctrinate them. Passing this bill means denying every LGBTQ person's validity in this state. Thank you so much. I ask you to vote no. How can you look yourself in the eyes, your gay best friend that you get drinks with in the eyes, your LGBTQ family members in the eyes after passing this Aaron legislation? DePietro. They were asked to bring in pictures of their family to school, which they pull on bulletin boards, and they get up and they speak about their families. By doing that, they're bringing up sexual orientation. It's not about sex, it's about the families. And if we're talking about families, it should be all families. I have been embracing children's questions in the classroom for 36 years as a public educator, as a trusted servant, and my first line of defense or help or support is the home. But when you reassert parental authority, sometimes you get the parental authority of my child's father who told him it would be better if he took his own life. I will not do that to any other child. Again, Florida legislators continue to cause harm to the most vulnerable with the notion of protecting Floridians and parental rights. Senate Bill 1834 does not does the exact opposite. This bill is creating more and more harm to Floridians. Don't say gay bill is bluntly hostile toward LGBTQ Floridians. I grew up in schools that were not welcoming of my sexual orientation, so I hid it. I vividly remember laying in bed, staring into the darkness with tears in my eyes, praying that God would fix me and take away the pain that I felt. At the time, I didn't feel like there was anyone I could trust. But a guidance counselor, an English teacher, and a history teacher all saw the value in me that I didn't see in myself, so I confided in them. I'm begging you today, do not pass this bill, because like so many LGBTQ kids, I don't know where I would be without the support of teachers like Ernie, Eileen, and George. There's an epidemic of LGBTQ kids hurting themselves here. Don't take away their reason not to.